Politicians are calling for transparency in government, but there are five measures on LA's March 3rd ballot, and unfortunately, very little is known about them. So, courtesy of CGS and LA 36, here's a quick overview of what they are and what they mean for Los Angeles. Proposition A aims to empower the Board of Fire Commissioners to appoint an independent assessor who will review complaints filed against employees in the LA Fire Department. A yes vote means the independent assessor position will be created, and a no vote means it won't. Supporters of Prop A include Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa and the Fire Chief Douglas Berry. Supporters claim that an independent assessor would help enforce higher codes of ethics in the fire department and reduce costs to taxpayers by avoiding expensive lawsuits. Opponents of Prop A include LA lawyer and mayoral candidate Walter Moore and LA criminal prosecutor David Berger, who is running for city attorney. They argue that Prop A would create more pointless bureaucracy since there are many current employees who could fulfill the duties of the independent assessor without creating an expensive new position. Next on the list is Proposition B. Considered the most controversial proposition on the ballot, Prop B would require the Department of Water and Power to install 400 megawatts of solar panels around the city of Los Angeles. A yes vote means the new solar panels will be installed and connected to the city's existing power grid. A no vote means the panels would not be installed. Supporters of Prop B include Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa and the President of the LA City Council, Eric Garcetti. Supporters claim the project would help decrease air pollution and create hundreds of jobs. Opponents of Prop B include former President of the LA DWP, Board of Commissioners, and current candidate for City Controller, Nick Patsouris, as well as Ron Kay, former Managing Editor of the Los Angeles Daily News. Opponents argue that the technology being installed is outdated and will cost much more than is being claimed and will also unfortunately increase costs to rate payers. Next on the list is Propositions C and D, which are not garnering much public attention. They modify the city charter to allow new options for the fire and police pension plan. Under the current plan, disabled children of deceased pensioners are eligible to receive dependent child benefits but they lose these benefits when they get married or are adopted. Proposition C would allow these children to receive benefits regardless of their marriage or adoption status. Proposition D would allow the spouses or domestic partners of fire and police pension members whose marriage or declaration of domestic partnership occurred after retirement to collect survivor benefits. Currently, a benefit continuance is only available if the pension member married or filed a domestic partnership declaration at least one year prior to retirement. Supporters of Prop C and D include the president of the LA Police Protective League, Paul Weber, and director of the LA Retired Fire and Police Association, Lee Kebler. They point out that the financial impact of Prop C is minimal and the financial impact of Prop D is non-existent since benefits are paid out of the member's pre-existing pension fund. There are no official opponents to either of these propositions. Finally, Proposition E would amend the city charter to state clearly that the city may provide economic incentives to attract new businesses to the city and keep current businesses in the city. Basically, the proposition was created to clarify the city's policy towards business incentives. A yes vote means that the city charter will be amended to state clearly the city's ability to offer businesses economic incentives. A no vote means that the charter would not be amended. Supporters of Prop E include Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa and President of the Valley Industry and Commerce Association, Stuart Waldman. They claim that Prop E will help make LA more business friendly and jumpstart the city's economy. Opponents to Prop E include criminal prosecutor and current candidate for city attorney, David Berger, and DWP technician, Harry Wilson. They argue the Prop E will favor businesses with political connections and result in higher taxes while not improving overall employment. There's your quick guide of the measures. Be sure to check out our separate video which provides in-depth information on Proposition B and be sure to go to the polls on March 3rd.